if you could have one superpower on AppSmith, what would it be? Take a moment to think about it. <laughs> For me, it's going to be widget bending, and I mean the new reflow resize feature. I'm just going to show you this in a bit, but before that, let me show you how it was previously on AppSmith when it comes to resizing or trying to place widgets on the canvas. So here I have the canvas opened up and I'm just going to place a couple of widgets on the canvas. So we have a chat widget here. Um, I'm going to scroll down and also bring in a list widget here. And let's say I need to place a new widget in between these two widgets. So previously I had to manually resize or move the widget away in order to create space for the new widget. So let's say I need to place in a button widget here. Uh, you can say I can't place any button widget because the button widget is highlighted in red, which means there's no drop area to place the button widget. So I would have to have kept the button widget on canvas, kind of like packing the button widget. And then I would need to manually move the um, chat widget to the side and bring the list widget to the side. Okay, I need to move this. I'm just going to drag this to the side and I should have enough space to place Oh, I still don't have enough space. Now I need to manually resize the button widget in order to have enough space to put it here. And that's just a lot of work because imagine spending 20 seconds trying to resize this widget when I could use that 20 seconds to go build my app. So that's just a lot of wasted time just trying to place widgets on the canvas. But with the new drag and drop experience, we are kind of like calling it reflow resize, which is the widget bending superpower I told you about. It actually makes things so much easier because you don't have to do all the manual work. So I'm just going to command Z, take everything back to the initial state of the application, and we'll try placing the button in between the chat and list widget with the reflow feature. So I'm just going to turn this on, and I'm sure you must have seen uh, the new notification here telling you about the new drag and drop experience. So I'm going to turn it on and then let's go try to place a button widget between these two. So you have the button widget here and you can see immediately that trying to place the button widget in between the chat and list widget automatically creates new space for the button widget and the other widgets just move away or move around in order to create space for the button widget. And with this, I can place the button widget and you have the button widget right there. This took me way less time because you have the whole logic of resizing and moving things away done for you automatically by AppSmith. And I think this is so cool. So we're calling this feature the reflow resize feature because with this, you can actually reflow widgets or move them away or resize them. So let me show you what the reflow feature looks like. So with this button widget, I can move the chat widget just by dragging along the border of the chat widget. It's kind of like a magnet effect where you push another widget using one widget. So I'm just pushing the chat widget using the button widget and you can see that it actually moves around. And with this, I can drop it and they remain in a fixed position. That's the reflow feature because with other widgets, you can move other widgets using other widgets, if that makes sense. Uh, the second thing you can also do is that you can resize widgets based on a new widget you're trying to bring in. So let's just take the button widget again. Uh, with the button widget, I can resize the chat widget just by dragging it to the edge of the canvas. So you have the chat widget uh, being faced up to the edge of the canvas and because there's no other space for it to move to, it actually starts resizing in order to create space to drop the button widget. So that's the resize feature and I think this would unlock powerful workflows for you to build apps quickly on the canvas. But we need your help here because we are still trying to figure out the best experience when it comes to bringing other widgets into a container. So you have a container here. I'm just going to bring this quickly and show you um, how it looks like right now. So you have a container, okay? And uh, let's say I need to bring in the button widget into the container. So to do that, I need to start moving the button widget towards the container widget. But if my velocity or mouse velocity is a little bit slow, I end up pushing the container widget down, which is not what I want. In order to bring the button into the container, I have to move a bit faster. So moving it faster, like this, it uh, brings the button widget inside. Moving it out um, a bit faster also brings it out. So fast in, okay, that didn't work. Fast in, brings it in, fast out, brings it out. And that's the current experience with moving 
uh, widgets into a container or out of a container. So we would want to know what you think the write flow is. Would you prefer a fast mouse movement in order to bring widgets in and out of containers or would you prefer it be a keyboard shortcut that would temporarily disable reflow which will make it possible for you to move widgets uh, using the old experience so i'm just going to temporarily disable reflow and now i can easily move the button widgets inside of the container so would you want a keyboard shortcut to temporarily disable reflow and then you would be able to quickly use that to move widgets within the container or would you prefer the mouse velocity so let us know your thoughts on this so that we can uh, tweak the experience to make it such that uh, it's something that works for everyone so let us know your thoughts in the comments or you can send us a message on discord we'd love to know what you think about this all right that's all for today's video uh, please let us know what you think about this feature would really love to get your thoughts on it and i'm going to see you in the next video take care bye bye Thank you.